Hi friends, Spider Former is one of my favorite hydroponic systems. I already own three Spider Former hydroponic systems and all my growing experiments with them are very successful. 36 voltage lights, bigger bowl, grow deck with 12 pods, powerful pump or some great features of Spider Former. Detaching and attaching the bowl is also very convenient. With that, I just got another Spider Farmer hydroponic system, which is a newer version with a Wi Fi and app support. Let's see how it looks like, the accessories it came with, and what are the new features. Wow, look at this, totally different design and it is designed very well, wow. Now I think it is worth showing my other Spider Farmer hydroponic system, uh, just to show them side by side. Here it is, let me quickly talk about this. So this is the convenience of taking out the bowl and put it back. There is no need to disconnect any cable. So I can just take it out, clean it and put it back. The one problem I mentioned is it has this pole design. We can only extend it up to 18 inches. But I really like this bowl design. It is pretty clean and I really like the pump setup. It actually pumps the water very well. That makes the water movement very well and the nutrients will in the continuous process of mixing and moving so i really like this kind of setup so i have a lot of good things to talk about it and there are only one or two dislikes all right now fully focus on this new system so compared to the old model this is totally new design wow again they kept the same bowl design so it is easily detachable there is a power connection here the bowl just goes and sits there and it is easy to take off, clean it and put it back. Now look at this light pole. They have changed it completely and I really love this kind of telescopic model. Looks like it supports up to two feet, but uh, we will measure it soon. Wow, this is really nice. Now let's see what are all the accessories it came with. This is the grow deck. So the grow deck supports 12 plants. The older model also supports 12 plants, but uh, it is pretty wide. The bowl is wide and there is good amount of space between uh, all the holes. So compared to this one, this new deck definitely has the holes close to each other. So I'm a little bit concerned, but uh, let's see. This is the power adapter. The plant baskets, sponges. Wow, they included a lot of hole covers. This is one of the things I really love Spider Farmer. Even with the old system, they used to add four caps because finding these caps is a little difficult and they are often very expensive. So they included a bunch of uh, hole covers. So I really appreciate Spider Farmer for this addition. Then this is AB Nutrition. I just want to call out that. I'm not a fan of this AB Nutrition. I have so many of these, came with so many hydroponic systems. Since I'm not a fan of this, I don't really use it. I don't see this nutrition is working very well for all the plants. And uh, there is quite a bit of work and uh, this doesn't last for a longer time. So I don't like this nutrition at all. By the way, this is really nothing to do with a spider farmer. It's just a brand, but uh, this is a very generic plant nutrition. So I don't, I'm not a fan of this kind of nutrition. I always go with the aerogarden nutrients or the maxi grow nutrients. Then the pod covers. These are very important to trap the moisture and help the germination process. And then finally, my favorite pump setup, which is a T connector. This will pump the water very well and this really helps 
dissolving the nutrition and continuously mixing the nutrition very well. I wish every hydroponic system has this setup or the full irrigation system like Aero Garden has. Anyway, I really like this setup. I call it out in many of my videos. I really appreciate keeping this same design. Now there is a pump here that is detachable. I can see two screws so I can detach it and there is a water level indicator. I see there is a magnet that is moving, magnet or float that is moving. So I think this system can detect the water level and uh, give us some indicator. Let's see. Rest of the bowl is very clean. I really prefer the clean bowl because I have a huge cleaning phobia. So I want to keep the bowl very clean every time. Not only when I change the plants, even during the grow cycle, I deep clean the bowl and I prefer to have a clean bowl like this. Again, I don't have this kind of attachment inside the bowl, but uh, luckily there is only one. Rest of the bowl is very clean. Now coming to the base, there is a nice control panel and there are a bunch of uh, buttons. These are touch buttons. Let's see how they are going to work out pretty soon. Now let me attach the light pole and the light and I am very curious to check the height that it supports. Oh, somehow this pole is connecting so strong. It is fully detachable. It comes off but there is something holding it very well. So it is not coming off easily. We have to put a lot of pressure. And I can also hear some click. We don't really need to take off the pole once it is inserted because this bowl comes off easily. So we never need to take off the pole once it is inserted really. Now goes the light panel. All right. First, let me check the minimum height. So the minimum we can start with is uh, six inches. And from here, from here it goes up to 22 inches so slightly below two feet but uh, 22 inches is really good i can grow a lot of plants under 22 inches so definitely a decent improvement compared to the previous models i really like this improvement and i also like this telescopic pole setup all right finally the last part in the hardware is the bowl they still maintain the same six liter water capacity bowl it's just that the design is a little different it is little bit deep but the bowl capacity is uh, same 6 liters and uh, there is a water dispenser. I don't really use it because I always want to take out the bowl, keep the plants aside and do the deep cleaning. I always clean the pump, clean the bowl and uh, put them back, start over with fresh water and nutrition. So I don't really use it but if somebody wants to just dump the water they can always use it. All right, that's pretty much about all the accessories and the hardware. Now let me connect this system to the power and go through the touch panel and what all the settings it supports. All right, I added some water. I intentionally added less water so that we can check the uh, water level and the indicator. Now I'm connecting the power. All right. As soon as I connected, it turned on the pump and turned on the lights. The screen is showing some setup. I need to go through some setup here. Right now, I am having a difficulty connecting the device to the app. So I will figure out the details and make a follow-up video showing how I can connect the device to the app and what I can manage from the app. However, I went through the settings on this on screen and there are plenty of things we can do. So let me quickly walk through what are all the things we can do. Just going to the menu and the first thing is variety. Whenever we start the garden, we can actually choose what variety we are growing. So there are a couple of options like tomatoes, vegetables, flowers, etc. So that variety basically going to control the duration of the lights. That's pretty much. We can just go with a fixed thing, something like tomato for everything that also works. But if you really want to go super granular, you can actually pick the variety that you are growing. I prefer to keep things simple, so I just choose tomato for everything. 99.99% .99 of the times that works very well. 
Now going to other settings, go to the settings menu. The first thing is you can set the time. If, uh, if the power goes off, etc. You can always come here and set the time. And the next thing is water pump. You can do the self check. In case you think the pump might not be working, you can always come here and check the pump. Let me do it. I just turned on the self check that actually started the pump. This is really good. This is going to run for one minute. I cannot stop it. So I just need to wait for one minute. All right. The pump stopped. So it stopped after one minute that confirmed the working status of the pump. Now let's go back to the settings. Moving on, we can also adjust how long we want to run the pump. By default, it runs for 15 minutes and take a break for 30 minutes. But if you want to change it and make the pump run for 30 minutes, you can actually change it here. Basically, it says 15 minutes or 30 minutes. I'm just going to stick to 15 minutes. That's good enough. Then this is just a display thing, like whether you want to see the temperature in centigrades or Fahrenheit. Then the nutrient. Normally for all the non aerogodon hydroponic systems, I prefer to stick to the feeding schedule by the water. Whether I'm using aerogodon nutrients or maxi ground nutrients, I mix the nutrients per liter, per liter of water and refill the bowl with that nutrient water. However, if you want to keep the schedule something similar to aerogodon, I mean, uh, if you want to feed every 14 days, you can do that. You can set the nutrient uh, schedule here and uh, feed according to the schedule that you set up. Whether you want to feed it every one week, every two weeks, it's up to you. Now moving on, there is a holiday, which is basically setting up the vacation mode. That is one of the popular setting in Aero Godin Elite models, Bounty and all the Elite models. So that option is available in the Spider Farmer. That's really amazing. And again, this language is just a display thing. And this is about notifications. And finally, if you want to turn off the screen, you can just turn it off, which I don't need at all. Oh, by the way, let me show you one important thing. So when you go to the variety that you are starting, if you go inside and for example, if you are growing the tomatoes and when you enter into the tomato, what you can do is you can say what time you want to turn on the lights. This is very, very important thing because I want to have a fixed schedule to turn on the lights on all my hydroponic systems. So normally I just need to wake up at right time and turn on the system at that time so that every day it maintains the same time, which is really annoying. I don't want to remind myself and uh, come back to the hydroponic systems and reset the lights. So having this kind of adjustment on the device itself is really important. That's what I like in all the elite models. Whenever I start the garden, I can clearly say what time I want to turn on the lights. And after 15 or 16 hours, depending on the uh, type of plants we pick, it will uh, keep the lights on for 15 to 16 hours and then it goes off. I really like that feature and I'm so happy to see that feature on this hydroponic system, spider farmer hydroponic system. So that's pretty much all the important uh, settings I can manage from the screen itself. So I don't really need an app, but having the app working is definitely an important thing, especially when we say the device is app supported. Uh, but anyway, that's not really blocking me in any way. So I'm very happy with all the settings on this system. Now, just to recap all the features, it has a 36 voltage full spectrum lights, 6 liter bowl capacity, support for 12 pods, 6 to 22 inches of height adjustment, water level display, setup vacation mode, Wi Fi and app support, includes all the accessories, water indicator, and nutrition indicator. Alright, that's pretty much about the hardware and all the specs about this system. Anyway, the specs is not everything for me. I always prefer the results. So I'm going to start various experiments with the system and I will keep you posted with the results from all my experiments. So please stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy hydroponic growing.